Okay, here's a shot of the new fender. We've got it installed. I went back on basically the same way I took the old one off. And I gotta do a little bit of body work here. On the, the body kit here, we had some damage. So here's a shot of the damage before I started doing the repairs on it. Down here, so I gotta do some bondo work here. Then we're gonna have to primer the fender. And then paint. All right, we got the first layer of bondo on now. This is a fiberglass bondo. It's got short strands of fiberglass mixed into the bondo. So it's kind of reinforced. I'm doing a couple build up coats here to give me something to sand and shape it with. So the trick is to apply nice, even, uniform coats, and that'll save a lot of time on sanding. Okay, here's a look at the second coat of fiberglass bondo. And I got it build up a little bit more right in the center here. That lip was really damaged, so I gotta add a little bit more to it still. But it's starting to get its shape back. Okay, here's a look after sanding it. So this front piece was actually broken into three different pieces and I had to mend them together. So it's a lot better now. I still have to do the skim coat now, not just to fill in any little divots, pits, whatever. Okay, we got the bond of work done now. Now we are gonna start a primer. All right, here's a shot of uh, doing my first coat of primer. So this is a seam sealer. And I'm using this on the top edge of the, the body kit here to help blend it into the fender. So it's a high strength seam sealer designed for car. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to put another coat of primer over the top of this and then sand everything after everything's dry. piece is looking a lot better. So my next step is going to be wet sanding. I gotta let the primer dry. Then I'm gonna wet sand this primer and get it all nice and smooth and ready for painting. Alright now we're gonna work on wet sanding the fender. Uh, I've got it all primered. I'm gonna wet sand the fender with a 600 grit wet or dry sandpaper just to get it nice and smooth and get rid of any of the deep scratches down here also where I did bondo work. What I'm using is a piece of scotch brite, and then I wrap that with the 600 grip sandpaper. And that gives me a sanding sponge. Okay, we got everything wet sanded now and ready for paint. I masked off the entire car except for what I'm painting, which is the fender here and the metal ground effect. So now we are getting ready to apply the base coat. That's the next step. Okay, I just used a wax and grease remover with a nice clean rag to wipe down the fender before I paint it. And then I use this tack cloth to wipe the fender after cleaning it and that removes any uh, dust particles or lint still stuck on the fender. So a good trick when you're painting is to make sure you don't stop your spray pattern in the middle of a panel. All right, so what I'm doing now is just testing my pattern. I'm just spraying it somewhere where it won't harm the paint, and looks like my pattern's good, so here we go.
Okay, here's a look at the car. I got it all back together. And after painting the fender there, and turned out pretty good. All right, here's a before shot and an after shot. Thanks for watching. This is Cliff with CLS 01. Please subscribe.